Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back. Oh my god, I feel like I have a little ponytail today. This is weird. I never used this thing so big. Anyways, hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Mask Monday video. In this video, I'm so excited to be doing a DIY hair mask because I'm always bringing to you guys branded hair masks, but this time, this is something you could whip up in your own house and have some bomb results. This towel is ridiculous and I cannot take myself serious, so I'm gonna take this off my hair and talk to you guys without this in my hair. Let me just tell you guys what we're doing today and the status of my hair right now. So, this is a hair mask that I did a lot last summer. Not this summer, I did it a lot last summer in 2017. And the reason was because I was in California and the avocados in California were amazing to my hair. So I just kept in incorporating avocados to my hair mask. Anytime it was time for me to deep condition. So I figured I'll share what I do with you guys. It's super easy. Anyone can literally do it and your curls are gonna be popping and they're gonna love you. The first thing that I'm gonna do is take a bowl, a glass bowl, clean glass bowl, any bowl you can take just to be able to whip up everything and put everything in one place. I'm gonna go ahead and take a fresh avocado and if this is a big guy, usually the ones in Walmart were super duper small, so I was able to just use one whole avocado, but because this one is very, very big, I'm only gonna be using half of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off with a metal spoon and just scoop it out and put it on the glass container. The reason why I like to include an avocado is because it's a great source of protein. It also has amino acids and vitamins, which help rejuvenate and moisturize your scalp. Also, since I'm aiming for longer hair these days, it definitely helps with hair growth. Avocado is also really good to help combating frizz. If you suffer from having very frizzy hair, avocado is definitely one ingredient that you can use into your DIY mask to help you with that. And it's also a great scalp treatment. So if you have really dry, itchy scalps with the amino acids and the vitamin E that it has in the avocado, it's definitely gonna help reduce that feeling that you have in your scalp. Last but certainly not least, it adds shine to your hair and it leaves your hair nice and shiny and soft. So those are some of the things that I like about avocado. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take about a spoon and a half of my favorite deep conditioners at the moment, and this is the Weed Out Curl Immersion Triple Treat Deep Conditioner. You can go ahead and use any of your favorite deep conditioners and blend it in. I feel like one that's very hydrating will definitely work out for you better. It's really, really good for my hair. It's super hydrating and moisturizing. And because I'm going to be using avocado, which is a strong source of protein, I want to moisturize my hair at the same time so I have a little balance of both. And last but not least, I like to add some olive oil. Now, olive oil for when I'm doing DIY hair masks is one of my favorite oils to use. And I actually prefer to use that over coconut oil just because I see my hair gets way more shine definition and it ends up being super super duper soft versus using coconut oil. If your hair really, really likes coconut oil, you can use coconut oil or just any oil that you have laying around in your house. But olive oil helps bring back moisture to the hair and it has, an olive oil is also rich in vitamin A, E, and antidoxin. Also, olive oil helps seal in moisture and it also helps with reducing split ends. It also softens your hair as well as, as well as the avocado and olive oil also helps for hair growth. So After I put all of those things in my little glass bowl, I went ahead and threw that all in my Nutribullet. I blended it all together and I got this really nice consistency. Now here we have the little cocktail right here. I love the consistency of this stuff. It's just it's not too thick, but I love it. I Sometimes if it's like the avocado is not soft enough, you can add some water just so it's easier to blend. But I didn't add water. I didn't feel like I needed to add any water. Okay, so before I jump into applying it, I did want to let you guys know that I usually do this on dirty hair. But my hair was one week dirty, so that means it was super dirty. My scalp was super duper itchy. So I did go ahead and shampoo my hair with this guy right here. This is the My Organic Moisturizing Detangling Shampoo. And I did went ahead and just cleanse my scalp a little bit because it was, it was really not feeling good. So that is what I use. And then this is the other half of my avocado, which I'm going to eat later. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like right now. It has dried up quite a bit, so I'm definitely going to have to wet some areas because since I just shampooed my hair is not detangled 
at all. We'll see how detangling goes. Definitely don't want to ruin my sweater, so I'm going to go ahead and put my little towel on top. This is why I used this towel today to open up the intro because I was going to use it for this thing now. So I'm going to go ahead and just spritz some water on my hair. I'm going to try to keep it soaked. I didn't condition my hair because this is a very intense conditioning slash protein treatment. So you really don't need to condition your hair. You can, however, if you want to. But I didn't think it was necessary. I'm going to be using my Tangle Teaser, my Tangle Teaser brush. No, I'm going to be using my Texture Pro wet brush. And this is just going to help detangle my hair. I'm going to go and take some from the spoon, I guess. Just going to take some. It looks like this. It's very creamy because of the avocado and the conditioner that I used. Oh, it doesn't smell good, so you might want to co-wash your hair after. I know it sounds a little redundant, but the only reason I shampooed was because, like I mentioned, my hair was not feeling good. Let me see if I could detangle with this. I don't remember if I detangled last time. Oh, I guess I can. Since I'm able to detangle, I'm actually going to be detangling my hair. My hair is very matted, very, very dry, so I was nervous. I wasn't really counting on detangling, but I guess I am able to. Okay. Ooh, that feels so good in my hair. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love a good DIY hair mask. Like, I seriously love it. Sometimes you can even add some eggs in here, some Greek yogurt. But I don't like to do all that extra stuff because to take that out of my hair is a hassle. This, I find it easier. All I do is just a light co-wash to remove like the smell. And the co-wash is very creamy. I'll show you guys in a second which one I'm going to be using. But look how easy that just went into my hair. And can you guys see the shine already? I love it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my entire hair. Make sure you put a towel because sometimes the avocado can stain your clothes and you clearly do not want that. I'm gonna take about this much and put it on this section. Now the slip is not the best. I probably would suggest you to use a comb unless you really, really soak your hair or you're doing this in the shower, like the slip is not out of this world but I'm telling you the results are out of this world okay the results are gonna be like you're gonna be like what and this is a great mask to do if you have damaged hair if you have chemically damaged hair if you have heat damaged hair anything like this will bring your hair back to life it'll definitely bounce it back up and you will notice a difference especially if you do this at least like twice a month or like three times a month girl Ah, girl your hair will definitely thank you so try it out and let me know if you guys have done this before and this is not a new hair mask this a lot of people have done it before I used to mix two different deep conditioners but today I didn't feel like I needed to do that so I just ended up using just one but yeah the slip is not out of this world unless you you already like detangled your hair oh I have a little strand and knot there. But look how it like curls up my hair so much already, look. It just enhances the curl definition so, so, so much. I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying this to the rest of my hair. And then I will be right back to show you guys what my hair looks like. Oh, and I wanted to mention that this spray bottle, a lot of you guys have asked about it and I got it from Sally Beauty, I got it from Sally Beauty Supply and it was like 10, 10 or 12 bucks something like that alrighty so I've applied all of the hair mask into my hair this is what it looks like right now I still have quite a bit left if you guys can see I have a quite a bit left so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the ends of my hair because those are the driest again and just to the edges because I use a lot of gel and edge control for my edges so I want to make sure that those parts are also very very hydrated so I'm taking some more also don't forget the back of your head I know for me that's like the driest part this part right here rude so don't forget to put some in there too I'm gonna keep this in my hair for about half an hour 
I'm gonna sit under the hooded dryer just so that I can have some heat in my hair. And the reason why I usually like to do this on dirty hair is because you always have to either shampoo or co-wash it out after because your scalp like might have some product left in it or if you don't blend your avocado like really really good you might have some chunks in your hair so you want to make sure you completely rinse it off 100% and then go ahead and do like something softer like a co-wash or just use a conditioner to like detangle your hair and just get rid of the smell. So I'm gonna go ahead, put a plastic cap, sit under the hood and dryer for half an hour. I'm gonna rinse my hair off and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys these amazing results with my hair with absolutely no product. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm back and I just rinsed off everything from my hair. I'm gonna walk you guys through what I did in the shower real quick, just so you guys are up to date with where my hair is right now. So in the shower, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I co-washed my hair after I fully rinsed this off. I rinsed this off with lukewarm water just to make sure everything was nice and out of my hair. Gave myself a little scalp massage while I was in there with the remaining of the mask that I had in my hair. Then I went with the Ginger Mint Co-Wash right here from Oyen Handmade. It's a very nice minty co-wash so it really gets rid of the smell from the avocado and my hair stayed nice and very clean and it gave me that little tingling sensation in my scalp which I absolutely love. After I rinsed that off my hair, I went in with the Diva Curl One Condition Delight. And the reason why I use this is because it's a very light delight. It's a very light delight. It's a very light conditioner. Um, this is the lightest conditioner from Diva Curl. So they have the One Condition Regular, One Condition Decadence, and then the newest one, which is One Condition Delight. I absolutely love this one for when your hair is not super duper dirty. And since I went in with a very moisturizing co-wash, I didn't really need to go in with anything that's super duper heavy, but I always like to condition my hair after I co-wash my hair anyway, so that's why I went in with this. This step is obviously optional. If you have a really conditioning co-wash that you like to go in with, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you feel like your hair does, doesn't have a really strong avocado scent, you can just go straight into the conditioner and rinse off the treatment and then just go right into the conditioner and detangle your hair. So let's talk about the results and how my hair looks. So this is my hair without any product. It feels very, very soft. Let me see if you guys can see. These are my final results with my hair without any product in it. My hair feels very, very soft, very full, and it's definitely shiny. Can you guys notice the shine in the hair? It's super duper shiny and especially olive oil and my ends are very nice and soft. They look a little crazy but my ends are pretty pretty soft from before and my scalp really feels rejuvenated and it feels brand spanking new because my hair was very very itchy so I got rid of all the buildup, everything that I had in my hair. So that concludes this video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it, if you guys want me to do other DIY hair masks in conjunction with branded hair mask and just mixing things up whipping things up and just trying different things let me know if this is something you enjoy comment down below if you've tried this hair mask before this little cocktail I'm sure you have it's nothing out of this world but what condition are you paired it up with if you've done this before also let me know any other DIYs that really help to strengthen and moisturize your hair for now the winter time. Also, this is something that you wanna make sure you do at least twice a month. It's really gonna encourage your hair to grow a lot. It's gonna strengthen your ends, strengthen your hair overall, and it's gonna improve the curl definition in your hair. If you like curl definition like me, this treatment slash hair mask slash DIY is definitely gonna help you with curl definition because we definitely got some curl definition going on over here, if you guys can see. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not following me on Instagram already, make sure you're following me at Chelly's Curl so we can stay connected and be curl friends. And also don't forget to enter the Diva, Girl, the Diva Curl giveaway that I'm doing with Bianca that's going on right now. So I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.